everyone is looking around and asking, how could this have been allowed to happen? But here's the hard truth about this. Peter and Fred aren't the first and certainly won't be the last animals to suffer and die due to government intervention. By now, you've probably heard the story about Peanut the Squirrel and Fred the Raccoon, two rescued animals that were loved and cared for with an amazing story of rescue, rehabilitation, and love and affection, dramatically torn away from the people who saved them and killed. The outrage has been massive, with big celebrities speaking out, including Elon Musk, who has tweeted multiple times about this incident, and popular podcaster Lex Friedman also commenting on the situation with a kind message. Elon Musk has mostly been calling out the government overreach here and asking the question as to why is the government putting resources into taking away animals that are loved and cared for and killing them when there are so many other important things to be thinking about. And anyway, how could the government ever be in a position to do this in the first place? But there's something deeper to this and it's something I haven't seen anyone talking about yet. I'm going to talk about us as a society, as a people, the laws we live by and the animals we care for. Let me just catch you up to speed if you don't know exactly what happened. Peanut is a squirrel who was rescued by these animal sanctuary owners. He amassed over half a million followers on Instagram because, well, he was really damn cute. People from all over the world loved his story and his playfulness, and they followed the relationship that he had with these people. And then there was Fred the raccoon, also rescued by these same people, who was also just as playful, just as loving, and just as interesting to watch on social media. But then some people on the internet didn't like that, so they filed complaints. It seems that some people didn't believe that Fred and Peanut should have been kept there and inside probably citing that they're wild animals and so need to be out in the wild, which would be a fair thing to say if they weren't rescued animals that most likely couldn't go back out into the wild at this point. And this is where the government authority stepped in. They came in to seize the animals, citing reasons of public health, claiming that they may have had rabies. And so they took Peanut and Fred and killed both of them so they could test for rabies. Their caretakers couldn't do anything about it. There was no way of stopping the government from killing these two animals. This is just the way it was. Just a completely disgusting abuse of power by the government. The reaction from the public was immediate. People were extremely upset about this. and They still are. It's ongoing right now. The outrage seems to be growing every hour. Loads of massive social media accounts, including, as we already said, Elon Musk and Lex Friedman, but also massive conservative accounts like PragerU, the Hodge twins, even Donald Trump Jr. is talking about this. And most of the conservatives are criticizing the Democrat-run government in New York for doing this. We're not going to dive too far into that because we're not here to get political. I'm I'm just telling you that this issue is being covered by some voices that you wouldn't have expected to talk about a squirrel. Regardless of where you land politically, one thing is clear. Everyone is looking around and asking, how could this have been allowed to happen? But here's the hard truth about this. Peanut and Fred aren't the first and certainly won't be the last animals to suffer and die due to government intervention. Consider the story of Tracy Murphy, a passionate animal rescuer. One day she found two cows had wandered onto her farm. So she took them in and gave them care. Shortly after, a local rancher claimed the cows were his, but had no proof they were his because they didn't have any ear tags. And so legal proceedings started to figure out how to handle this situation. But the rancher was an ex-police officer. So while the legal proceedings were beginning, he just went and spoke to a couple of his friends in the police, got them to arrest Tracy. While she was in custody, his friends in the police went to her sanctuary, took the cows, gave them to him, and then he killed them. That is disgraceful, but it doesn't stop there. Him and his friends then tried to charge Tracy with theft, and she was facing up to two years in prison. Just recently, a judge threw the case out, declaring Tracy as innocent, but it was too late. The animals had already been killed, victims of a system without hesitation and without mercy. This kind of government corruption and overreach isn't just limited to the USA. Just last year, over in Italy, police stormed the sanctuary and killed 10 rescued pigs right there in the sanctuary, citing fears of 
disease, even though these animals had been living there safe, protected, and healthy for years. Whether it's a squirrel, a raccoon, a cow, or a pig, this isn't just about the isolated cases. It's about a pattern where animals are treated as disposable, as property to be controlled, taken, or destroyed. Here's where we need to ask ourselves a tough question. In our society, we say we love animals. We cheer for rescues like Peanut and Fred. We follow their stories online. Many people even send money to help with the costs of giving them the treatment they need and the care they need. Peanut and Fred's situation sparked a massive backlash. People have been able to find every government official who was involved in this. They've all had to shut down their social media because of the abuse they were receiving. They've even managed to find allegedly the person who made the complaints that led to the killing of Peanut and Fred, and she's also had to shut down her accounts. I don't know if she actually made the complaint, by the way, don't take my word for it, but these are the rumors going around right now, and you can see how quickly people mobilize when they're faced with animal cruelty and violence like this. We have this incredible fire in our hearts to protect animals, but this isn't just about our emotions. There is a conflict that we're living with every day. Peanut and Fred didn't just matter because they were famous. They mattered because they were individuals with feelings and personalities. Just like the hundreds of thousands of chickens, pigs, cows, and other animals were killing every single day. We want to protect animals. We want to treat them with care and respect. But at the same time, our culture and our laws tell us that animals are property to be used, killed, and eaten if we wish to. Actually, the vast majority of animals in our society are used for exactly that. We breed and kill chickens, pigs, cows, and other animals in the billions as property to be used and killed for whatever we want to do with them, whether it be for clothing or for our food or for our entertainment. They have absolutely no legal rights to stop people from killing them if they want to kill them. Peanut the squirrel and Fred the raccoon were no different to those animals in the eyes of the law. We've created a system where animals can be taken and killed with little more thought than you'd give to a broken object like a chair or a table. If we accept that there are legal rights to do horrible things to animals, whether it's in farms, slaughterhouses, or animal testing labs, it shouldn't surprise us when the government does horrible things to animals, like in the case of Peanut and Fred. I think we should use this moment as an opportunity to reassess our relationship relationships with animals on a wider scale and protect animals from the laws that don't see their lives as valuable. And this is something you can achieve with how you live personally as well as what you demand politically. Personally, I'm a vegan because I want to try and make a better world for animals. And that, I think, is the great way to begin your journey in trying to create this better world for them. If you believe animals deserve better, join the conversation. Share this message, speak up, and help us create a world where animals have more value and aren't treated just as property to be used and discarded. This isn't just about Peanut and Fred. It's about every animal we share the planet with. And if you want to help me with my vegan and animal rights work, check out the David Rams Patreon and YouTube teams in the description.